for students who think that they have an interest in studying the ocean or interest in oceanography or marine biology or marine ecology, they may want to consider us because if they come to Cal Maritime, they know that they will first and foremost be immersed in a maritime campus. We are all things maritime here. And so in all of the courses that you study, we really do face the ocean both figuratively and physically, we face the ocean. One of the things that's great about Cal Maritime is that the best way to educate students is through authentic, hands-on learning. Since this campus's inception, that's how we train students, a combination of work in the classroom, understanding theory, and then very deliberately applying that to problems. The extensive in-class learning of theory and the application out in the field is probably the best way to learn this. And in my experience, uh, this program has been fantastic at that. And I wouldn't have the opportunities I have today without it. So our campus location is really ideal for launching this new degree program. And I say that for a couple of different reasons. The obvious is that we are a campus sitting on the shore of San Francisco Estuary, which is the largest estuary on the US West Coast and one of the most studied estuaries in the world. It also is true that the campus sits between the Bay Area, which is a technology hub, where we're seeing a lot of interest in oceanography now with autonomous vehicles and sampling platforms that are now going into the marine environment and autonomous shipping and all of those sorts of areas. But we're also equidistant to Sacramento, where policy happens. And so that kind of that, that point that we sit an hour from each gives us access to both of these worlds. And I see Cal Maritime occupying not just a physical space, but also in terms of launching student careers that students can work in the science, they can work in the technology, and they can also work in the policy. I'm a global studies major and was able to use my experience at Cal Maritime in the science program to tie information and experience in with uh, environmental policy, which got me a great science internship. You know, Cal Maritime is a place where there's a lot of expertise in different areas that are readily applied to oceanography. So, for instance, yes, we have marine transportation people who can drive vessels and maintain a fleet of vessels. But we also have engineers who can build instrumentation for us. And we have people who work in electronics and can help with data acquisition in sort of modern oceanography. And so it's been pretty easy to bring in people, say, from mechanical engineering who are interested in using autonomous underwater vehicles and bring their expertise on the engineering into oceanography. And similarly, we have a welding shop that can help us fabricate materials that we need in order to do our science. So oftentimes oceanography students have trouble getting out into the ecosystems that they want to study, such as an estuary or other water systems. Well, the beauty of Cal Maritime is that we have our fleet of vessels and professionally trained staff members that can take us out repeatedly into these systems. And where a lot of students at other campuses may have the experience of one day out doing work on an estuary or one day touring a research vessel, our students are able to go out every week during the semester and spend three or four hours repeatedly surveying the same stations and so they can look for change through time and really get a sense of how our estuary works. The faculty of the oceanography department at Cal Maritime, besides bringing their professionalism, brought with them a lot of their professional network with them that helped when I was looking for internships to get greater marine science, marine technician experience. And uh, it was through their connections that I had some of the most valuable experiences at Cal Maritime and definitely let me uh, build the skill set that I need to be successful in the marine science industry. The other thing is that our students will come to campus and do science. From the moment they walk through the door, we'll have embedded research questions that they'll be doing both in their lower division courses as well as when they get into their sophomore and junior year and even into their senior year, they'll be developing their own research questions, uh, conducting original research, and presenting that research at scientific conferences. So for students who want a strong theoretical understanding of ocean science, but also want to have the ability to apply that learning and walk out of this having completed some original work that they can present to potential employers or graduate schools, um, they really may want to consider coming and working with us.